With this episode, we'll finish the long film we started for Monica about her plans for the stablecoins. What we have to say next will interest you. We're going to start right away. What did Ripple CEO say about Gasler and the different price predictions we've heard? Talk, the price is set by GPT first, and then an expert researcher sets the price for XRP. People, I'll take care of you. Stay calm and get comfortable. Please enjoy the show. Get a drink that will help you relax. $61,800 in Bitcoin Ethereum is up 41% from yesterday when it closed at $3,382. Just like XRP, 1% of USDT and USDC will get to their own dollar pegs. It is 47 cents, friend. Nothing has changed. Um, it makes sense with this morning's beauty. Hey, we're still in the buy zone. Haven't hit 46 cents yet. We've had a lot of conversations about the idea of buying an XRP region box. There are $291 billion worth of coins on the market. I use this thing every day. Don't forget about the boost sets either. These prices may change because of a special offer. $54.99. They've only been free for three days now. They sound great, but we're down. I believe it was four days ago. You do have the last 30. The glasses that come with this set can be stored in a cube, bag tongs, holding box, or wooden box. Let's listen to it. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about XRP to see how Ripple keeps the cryptocurrency market safe. Our main goal is to help our own clients get started. Several of our users are tokenizing securities right now, and we've also been asked to tokenize money. It's very interesting to the banks that we work with to tokenize real-world assets. Ah, such dependable money. Actually, I think there are more ways to play. Ripple offers some kind of service through our security solution that helps turn real-world assets into tokens. Yes, we really are. We can help clients fill out that application. The scenario, which is pretty interesting, involves turning different real assets into tokens based on how much information the use cases need and what the customer really wants. This word has been turned into a token. Uh, that means it means nothing and everything at the same time, right? As you may already know, 10% of the world's GDP is about to be turned into tokens. Next, that one you've probably heard a million times. But we work in the block business, though, and we think that blockchain is this amazing internet magic that will make your financial systems much more effective and able to break away. Based on what, you know, silo networks are inefficient, as shown by their use in tapper markets and other situations. The same is true for payments. People have seen us do this for a while, but we believe it will pay off in the end. It is clear that these new technologies will be used in the future and these different groups will be thrown away. We need to wait some more to see if Ripples will make a difference. They definitely played a part in making the current payment landscape what it is today, which is huge, as Monica just said. They are now in a whole new league as Rumble tries to use XRP to help free up the more than 10 trillion that Vore counts. This new business is a valuable resource. I didn't say this, but they have planned stable coins for the stable coin ball game. You might not use stable coins very often, but when we look at financial companies around the world, their main goal is to make sure their money stays stable and doesn't go up or down in value. As long as they can get a stable wage, they can be very helpful. They may have said that three to four trillion stable coins will be ready in three years, which is a lot of money. Everyone make a Vero account. The CEO of Ripple is going to have a great day today. He thinks it's crazy that the head of the SEC wants Bitcoin entrepreneurs to go to jail. He's right. What good has the SEC done for Ripple and XRP in return for getting away with nothing? Gentlemen, if he was really that good, why did he meet with SBF so many times but not do anything? CC News VS. Ripple spiral, the president makes things clear about the lawsuit. It is said by the XRP ETF that Mon Long talked about the funds for the XRP lawsuit, the Ripple stablecoin, and the possible launch of XRPF soon. It sounds interesting. That's what she says. A stablecoin will help Ripple's business in more ways than more ways than one, and it will also allow it to grow into places with less liquidity. The stablecoin won't be able to compete with XRP, but it will help it become more popular. At first, Ripple, DeFi, and institutional investors use standard custody to handle the stablecoin's reserves. Several good things have helped this growth happen, such as the fact that XRP and Bitcoin are the only cryptocurrency investments. As soon as the US government shows up, we know that big money is coming. All of this is happening now. It's true. You have to wait for it. The game is to wait. It's over, so I want this thing to become famous and get past its resistance. In 2017, the pushback was at its strongest. It will break at some point, and we will all celebrate at the same time. If you're an XRP bug, check out this chance to win $9,000 in XRP. Have luck if you try to get that amount. It's not going to happen. 9,000 people are there. How does ChatGPT figure out the price of XRP? It's as if the lawsuit never happened. That one is interesting because we scroll down to read ChatGBT's idea that XRP's price could rise by 150 to 200% in a situation of rapid growth. This would put us in the 150 to 150 to 180 range. This is pretty interesting. In fact, I think we would be in a much better place now than we are now if we were just taking a step back. Most of the assets that hit all-time highs in 2017 did not do so in 2020 and are not selling above their all-time high from 2017. This suggests that this may be the case. There is no question that a share of XRP would be worth more than $10 if it were priced between $150 and $2.
Chad GPT's idea says that XRP may keep going up 300 to 500% since December. It would still be less than its all-time high of 2018, but the price would drop to between $2.40 and $3.60 zero, not $384 as some said, but a number higher than $384 as some said, but a number higher than $384 in South Korea was the real record high. It was about 280 here in the US, so we would be close. In that case, the low end would definitely be below average. It will be interesting to see how this plays out. The best expert thinks that JD will go up 1,500%. His line suggests that XRP could go up by 1,500% to $750. You already know that the arrow on his chart isn't where it should be, but he says to count on lights and candles. Instead, it's just saying that it might go up. That's what his real goals are. Making it sound like this is a goal when it's not, but you know that $1.75-5 is a reasonable goal. Remember that we will get anywhere from three to 600 units. Should we go over that by 100%? If that's the case, is it possible that we could hit 750? Give us $10. I know that a lot of you don't want to hear about the most talked about XRP, but it will get better over time. I know, I promise you that cryptocurrency doesn't have enough money in it right now. We will need to spike the amount of money coming into cryptocurrency in order to get the price up to $50 to $100. In reality, the hyperbolic blow-off peak is more along the lines of 17 to 24. At that point, most of the money is paid out. We will only get our daily updates if the transfer of funds from the regular market to the cryptocurrency market doesn't happen. This is what we usually think will happen, so it's likely that XRP will hit a value in the double digits. Okay, listen up, that's a pretty big chunk of cash that could change someone's life from 47 cents to tens of dollars. That people shouldn't be yelling and kicking if XRP does a 10 divided by 15 divided by 20x. A lot of other cryptocurrencies will do the same thing that XRP did.